Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series of NAT in Palo Alto Firewall. In this video series, we will see how we can configure NAT on Palo Alto Firewall. So we will replicate few examples related to source NAT, destination NAT, static NAT, and we'll also replicate few examples related to U-turn NAT as well. I would recommend you guys to refer your notes first clear your concepts and then start replicating these labs so this is the topology we will follow throughout this video series so in this video we have a Palo Alto firewall this Palo Alto firewall is connected to internet via 203.115.100.106 IP address and that is part of untrust zone then we have one test machine and router R1 connected in LAN zone with subnet 136.1.125.0/24, and then in the DMZ we have a subnet 136.1.126.0/24. So in this series we will take use of these three zones: LAN, DMZ, and Untrust. For this test network, uh, once we will be doing content ID and user ID, then we will use Active Directory in this topology and the attacker machine. So let's review the assignment what all talks tasks we will be implementing in this video series so first task in this assignment is corporate LAN network which is 136.1.125.0/24 should be able to access internet via firewall interface IP address which is 203.115.100.106 so let's log into the firewall and implement security policy NAT policy and then from LAN machine we will try to access the internet. So let me go to the firewall first. So on the network in the interfaces we have all the IP addresses configured. They are in respective zones LAN, internet, DMZ and test network and every interface is part of single default virtual routing table. If we go to policies, there is no security policy as of now, just implicit policies related to intra zone and inter zone. And then if you go to NAT, again there is no policy. So we have to start from the scratch. So first let's create a NAT policy. Click on add button. Specify policy name as internet access. Go to original packet so source zone from which from which zone the traffic will be initiated so as per the topology source zone here is LAN destination zone will be internet will keep destination interface as any because we have just one interface configured in internet zone uh, we will not focus much on the service part here because that we will discuss uh, once we will be doing application identification so we'll keep service as any here then go to source address 136.1.125.0/24 is the source submit you can also create an object and then call that object here then uh, destination would be any because we are going to access internet click on translated packet now under translated packet for many to one in case of Palo Alto will be implemented using dynamic IP and port. So select dynamic IP and port. There are now two options. One is translated address and second is interface address. So interface address we will select in this case because we are going to do a NAT with the interface IP address which is facing internet. So go to interface. I'm not sure what exactly is that interface. So let me see. Uh, no it is not 1 by 2 maybe 1 by 3 yes it is 1 by 3 203 106 so select that interface and click on ok so we have a NAT policy setup so go to security click on add name policy as internet access go to source source is LAN source network is 136.1.125.0 slash 24 destination zone would be 
internet destination address as any so we'll keep that application section as any because we'll start implementing policies once we will do a theoretical session on the application identification how does it work in case of follow to firewall so we'll keep that option as any till the time application identification is not done so service uh, it will be again application default what exactly is this option we will discuss that again in application identification go to action and action is set to allow so we do not have license as of now on this box so logging if enabled or disabled doesn't uh, doesn't impact anything so let me disable this logging we will verify everything with the help of session table entries so click on ok so we have a security policy and NAT policy in place I just want to verify if we have a right default route on the firewall to reach to the internet so click on default go to static route and verify if we have default routes so we have a default route pointing towards internet that's good click on ok and then commit the changes I need to log into the test machine so that we can uh, access internet connectivity so if you go to the topology so this is the LAN machine 136.1.125.125 IP address I have taken RDP access so once you will refer your lab setup document you will be able to get to know how to do a RDP on this test machine so go to command prompt let's verify if we are on the right IP uh, on the right machine so 192.168.70.125 is the management IP address of this machine and then 136.1.125.125 is uh, the IP address from which the request will be initiated so I feel a policy has been pushed okay now go to just do a basic test with ping 8.8.8.8 and that way we will we'll be able to verify if we are able to reach internet I can ping successfully we can go to browser and try accessing basic uh, applications over the internet like google.com and then we should be able to test this NAT rule so let me open google.com so I can access Google as well so let me go back to the firewall CLI and now see in the session table how the traffic is getting netted so come back on my base machine log into the firewall CLI 192.168.70.106 username and password you will get in the document you can use that let me quickly change some font and color settings so go to colors foreground and okay now show session all is the command uh, to see the session table entries and then you can do a filtering with the filter keyword so for example we want to do a filter based on source IP address so 136.1.125.125 that's the IP address we could see so much traffic so source IP address 136.1.125.125 then source port 1065 source zone LAN and then protocol as 6 destination IP address is 117.1.8.237.29 and destination port is 80 and zone information is internet now if you see here in the parallel the source IP address has now been modified to 203.115.100.106 which is the firewall interface IP address and source port also has been modified from 1065 to 5.75.865 and that's the right behavior of port address translation which in case of Palo Alto is dynamic IP input. So let's move to task number two and see what exactly we have to done. So task number two says a loopback on R1 which is 130.1.1.0 should be able to access loopback 140.1.1.0 slash 24 behind R2 via one virtual IP address. So I do not have a virtual IP address as of now to uh, replicate this lab over the internet so we will be replicating this lab 
when we want to do a NAT with a virtual IP address from LAN to DMC. So we will be accessing R2 loopback from R1 loopback and NATing will be done with the virtual IP address in 136.1.126 space and that IP address is uh, 150. So let's replicate this again back to firewall go to policies go to NAT and click on add so R1 hyphen R2 is the name of the policy source zone in this case will be any uh, sorry LAN destination in this case would be DMZ again destination interface services any source network 130.1.1.0 slash 24 this time destination is fixed which is 140.1.1.0 slash 24 good go to translated this time uh, dynamic IP input but no no interface IP address this time translated address and the translated address would be 136 126 let me verify the IP again uh, 150 okay go back 150 good so this is the virtual IP address as you guys know no proxy ARP specific configuration related to proxy ARP is required because Palo Alto does proxy ARP by default for the NATed IP address so click on OK so we have a NAT rule set up go to security uh, I, I'll prefer to update the same security policy that's a good advantage in Palo Alto firewall we can have multiple zones in a single security policy if you guys want to create a separate policy you can do that as well so LAN uh, is good I will add another subnet here which is 13110 slash 24 destination is DMZ and then 140.1.1.0 slash 24 so you guys actually need to create a new policy because the moment I will select this new subnet any checkbox will be unchecked so you guys should try with a different policy altogether so application we will keep that as any and then service any action allow okay good so 130 140 LAN to DMZ we are good and then let's verify the routing so 130 we have a route pointing towards 136 125 115 which is the router and for 140 we have a route pointing towards R2 so routing is good on the firewall click on commit and let me log into the routers so this is my router R1 we have a loopback address we have a physical interface IP address let me verify the routing uh, default route is pointing towards firewall similarly I'm on router R2 we have a loopback 140.111 then physical interface and then one management IP address and let me verify the routing so routing is good here as well mm, let's wait for the policy to push policy has been applied let's try to ping 140.1.1 interface 130.1.1.1 and we should see an art with the virtual IP address in the session table entry so ICMP is good uh, go to the firewall and this time we will have a filter on 130.111 so if you see uh, 130 to 140 traffic is getting natted via IP address 136.1.126.150 and this time traffic is traversing from LAN to DMZ so this is also working uh, in case of assignment number 2 so that's all for this video you guys need to do a one more lab in case of source NAT using dynamic IP input and that will be uh, you should create a pool and the traffic has to be NATed via that pool because of the scalability of the NAT. Thank you very much. Hope you are enjoying video series from Troika system.